Many people ask me if Google Data Studio can be white label or it can be mobile friendly or if you can add logos, colors and other brand elements and the answer is yes of course and I will show you how to do it right now. Let's add some style or personality to this standard Google Data Studio report. The first thing I want to show you is that I added a new control. For Google data sources, just like Google Analytics, Search Console, and YouTube, I can set a dropdown that lets me display different Google Ads accounts. For Google products, I can have a dropdown that let me select a different account without changing the data source. I will show you how it works. If I go to the view mode and I choose this control, you will see that I can display all the Google Analytics accounts that are associated with my email. Now I will go back to the Data Studio report to show you how to change the styles. Now it is time to customize our report. The first thing that I want to show you is that if I click somewhere in the report where there is no visualization, I can choose the theme and layout of our report. By default, I have this option, but I could change to another theme. So I am switching to the Edge theme, or I would like to choose the Constellation theme. And as you can see, it is super easy to change the theme of our report. Now I will show you a trick to bring the colors of our brand. So in this case, I will say that I love the colors of a stripe, so I would like to steal them. For this, I will take a screenshot. Now I will go back to our Data Studio report and I will click on Extract Theme from Image. Then I will select the screenshot. As you can see, Google Data Studio will grab some of the colors of the screenshot and will give me some suggestions. For this example, I want to grab this one. And here you have, now you can see how easy it is to bring our brand colors. Now I will show you how to change the styling of your visualizations. I will start with the time series. If I click on any of our charts, I will see the style tab. Here I can change everything I want. For the time series, I have different setups. For instance, instead of visualizing lines, I could visualize bars. And instead of this color, I could choose a different one like this one. And now I would like to remove these lines. So I will go down and I will go to the grid option and I will remove it. Instead of gray, I would like it to be transparent. Perfect, now I will show you a special feature of time series. I can find reference line and I will show you how they work. If I click on adding a reference line, I could set a value, let's say for instance of 2000. And I will say that this is my target. This way I can quickly visualize my actual traffic performance versus a target. Reference lines are particular for time series, bar charts and area charts. Now I will show you a special feature of tables. If I go to a style, I will find conditional formatting. In this case, I will add a new rule. And I will say that if bounce rate is over 60% for my pages, I want to flag it as red. So for this format rule, I will set that if bounce rate is greater than 60%, then the entire row should be red. And perfect, it works. It highlights the pages whose bounce rate is over 60%. I will show you another way to customize your reports by adding elements. So I will go to insert, and in this case, I would like to add a rectangle. And here, I will place it right here. Now what I will do is that I will do a right click and then I will change the order and I want to send it back. Now I can add an image, so I will go to insert, then I will choose image and I will place it right here. Here I can choose any image from my computer, so I will go to select file and I will choose the portal logo. And here you have, for this case my image background is white but I can set it to be transparent. Great, now you know how to add colors on Data Studio automatically by picking an image, you know how to add images to your reports, you know how to add elements, and you know how to customize your charts, like for instance with tables. Okay, I want to show you one last trick. What about making our Google Data Studio reports mobile friendly? I will show you how it's done. Okay, I will click here again in an empty space of our canvas, and instead of theme, I will go to the layout tab. In this case, I will show you something important. I will create a new page. I would like to keep this header static, so I will select it all and I will do a right click and then I will choose to make it report level. If I go to the second page, I should see the same header. Great, this is how the end user will see a report. Now they can change the pages, so I will go to this drop down 
and I can choose the page one again. Yet, I don't think this is the best way to display your pages because most of people who are not familiar with Data Studio will find these options. And then I will go back to layout and I will choose that the navigation will be left. And here you have, now we can have a navigation where users can quickly find and can toggle between pages. I want to show you one last trick. What about if you could change the sizes and the parameters of each of your pages in your reports? Here is how it's done. I will go back to our report and I will say that the width of this page will be again this number. Yet I would like to have a mobile friendly version. So I will go back to the second page and I will make it mobile. If I change the canvas size here, it would affect all the pages. How can I fix that? I will go to page, then I will go to current page settings and I will go to style. And for this page only, I will make it 600. And here you have, if I go to the view mode, you can see that both pages have different sizes. This one is for mobile, for instance, and this one is for desktop. We have already learned how to customize our reports, how to add colors, how to add logos, how to change the sizes of our canvas. It is time to share our reports with the stakeholders, customers, and our team. See you in the next section.